Hello, physical science students. Mm -hmm. This is lab demo for EFM lesson 2.3, investigating what the effect of surface type is on frictional force. So you can see our materials here. We have fine grain sandpaper, wax paper. We have paper towel and coarse sandpaper, and we'll use the plain tabletop too. And we are gonna measure the frictional force of a wooden block here that it will be pulled slowly and steadily across these different surface types um, and it will be attached to a spring scale. You may remember using a spring scale last year in earth science on the uh, earthquake lab and as you see it measures force and if we look close we'll see on the right side is newtons. We're going to be measuring force in newtons. This is a 2.5 newton spring scale and we'll be um, attaching it to the wooden block and and um, drawing that across the different surface types and measuring the frictional force. All right, so our first surface type is going to be wax paper. And as you can see, the spring scale is attached to the wooden block and we're measuring and you have to kind of eyeball the frictional force required to pull it across the surface type. So. For trial one on wax paper is 0 0.50 newtons. Okay, and now we will try one of the other surface types. Now we're on to the fine grain sandpaper, drawing it slowly and steadily. Notice we've got some static friction going there. We might want to try that one again, seeing if it is possible to get a little bit more steady. There we go. It, you, it takes some finessing to get. Ms. Bonafina, were you able to try one more time? Yeah. Okay. And it's an eyeball estimate on this one? Um, 2.25. Zero, or sorry, 2.25 Newtons for the fine grain sandpaper. And then now moving on over to the coarse grain sandpaper. Drawing it evenly. Still had a little static friction there. Let me try one more time. Let me do one more. One more time, just trying to get a smooth. So just remember, it, you know, it's starting here and then once the whole block is over. It's a little bit easier than to, you have to eyeball. Yeah, and that one was two. 2.00 for coarse grain. Now moving on to paper towel. That was pretty easy. Some of the surface types you can see are easier to measure. Point, uh, point 0.6. 0 0.60. And then the last one is going to be just the tabletop with no special surface type on there. I'm gonna do that one more time because I was kind of dragging. Nope, one more time was going too slow. 0 0.7. 0 0.70. Um, you can tell that if you were here in, in the lab doing this yourself, you would probably find one person in your lab group that would be have the touch, as we would say, and be able to try to get a good, consistent reading. And so let's look at our data table here. You can see that we've got the independent variable. That will be the thing that we are changing in the experiment, the surface type. We're measuring the force. So that is our dependent variable. And then we'll have our repeated trials, which you will average here, the, the derived quantity, remember the thing that we calculate will be average force in Newtons. So you'll come up with your averages based on the raw data that you will find in the module.